All right, hello everybody. If you signed up for the DSM-7 beta, you likely got the same email I did last night, which states that the DSM-7 beta program has been pushed from sometime this month all the way until 2020 Q3. So in this email, Synology claims that DSM-7 is at a point where it is stable enough for day-to-day -day operations. However, they want to push off this beta until Synology Photos, Hybrid Share, and apparently some new undisclosed features have been enabled. I think that this is not the entire story. I think that a lot of this actually comes from the 6,500 people who signed up for the Synology 7 beta. I think that Synology has realized that the majority of the people who've signed up for this beta are not developers and people who own businesses with tons of Synology NASes who want to make sure their products are ready for DSM-7. They in fact are end users who are really just excited for the new features in DSM-7 and don't want to wait or want to get a chance to look at the new build. They're not the people who can afford to have extra NASes lying around just for testing. So more likely than not, the majority of the beta users would be testing the builds with critical data that they cannot lose. However, companies like Apple who release betas for their community with all the new features with just maybe some unstable builds and poor battery performance, but no data loss, are giving end users the wrong impression as to what a beta really is. For a company like Synology, everything to them is about data security. We can take performance hits, but the one thing we cannot take is data loss. And if they start having a critical function that causes data loss for people, then everybody's going to leave Synology, even though they should not have been testing that build anyway with data they needed. So I believe that they've realized that a lot of people are going to be running these builds on their personal NASes, which can't lose data. And so I think they want to wait till a lot of this data has been stabilized. However, there could have also been other things that have happened, but just reading between the lines, I think that that's what has happened. For me, this is slightly unfortunate because I was really looking forward to testing it. However, I will give Synology props. I would always rather have a product come late but be good than come early and have poor performance. And I think that's what Synology has realized here. I can forgive just about anybody for delays as long as the product continues to work well, but rushing a buggy build is not going to help anybody and is just going to reflect negatively on Synology. All right, thanks for watching. I'll have more updates as I get them. Bye.